BHMSD is committed to acquiring, creating, and curating accessible educational materials, or AEMs, and the necessary technologies to access accessible AEM for qualifying students in a timely manner. I'm Erica Bloom, the Intense Intervention Teacher here at Bluffton Harrison Elementary. I have three students that qualify for the communication package through patents, which we have been trialing devices throughout the year. We have been implementing those devices and throughout our lessons to increase in communication um, and intention. Patents has um, made it so I can be more intentional about modeling and planning for my lessons. Um, therefore, my students have the most opportunities to use their tools to communicate. And these devices have definitely made a difference in my classroom due to the increased attention in my students and they have a voice and they can make a choice throughout the day and they just have been more engaging throughout um, their educational environment. We were all using low-tech devices um, throughout the day. Now implementing devices with patents, I feel like there is more accessible materials for my kids, whether that be switches, eye gaze, iPads, things with braille, just all these accessible materials have been made made a huge impact in my classroom. These devices have become a tool for my kids to access their educational environment. I feel like my biggest success at implementing patents is to trial eye gaze. This has been a huge overcoming for a student with TBI. Um, he is now able to utilize his eyes to communicate his wants and needs, and he now has a voice in my classroom, and I love it. Many of our students here at BHES have vast communication needs. This year, they explored various communication methods for students at BHMSD. After working alongside our patents representatives and AEM grant, BHMSD has been considered an access for all school district. This idea came about from Erica talking with one of the speech language pathologist assistants, Allie. They were communicating with each other about how we can uh, come up with another type of device for our student to use that would be more functional, easier to carry around, better to organize, and better assist the student. Our speech language pathologist assistant, Allie, came to me asking, can you make things with the 3D printers? I said, yeah, I can make something. What is it that you need? She talked through a basic idea of what it was going to look like. And then she said, we have a problem though, we want to change what this design looks like. Can you take something and then add more to it? I said, I think I can do that. So then in a few different conversations between Eric and Allie, we came up with what we wanted this device to look like, what the function was going to be for it. And then I drew up a rough sketch just on a notepad paper, presented it to the ladies and said, would something like this work? took some measurements and then got started working on the design there. This was something totally new to me. I've never made anything like this. Now I have made a couple other custom things uh, unique to this student. She uses a tactile schedule. So there's just like uh, miniature objects that she touches to know what is happening next or throughout the day. I made a small trash can so that way the student can um, touch this and navigate around it to know that recycling time is coming up soon. I also made a miniature version of a hip cane that she was using to practice walking through the hallway so she could um, feel around with that and know that that was coming up next on the schedule. And then this was a totally new design, never made anything like this, so it, it was a little bit of a challenge. It took me a number of different attempts to get the right thing. But after five tries, we landed on a design that was both uh, functional and looked pretty good for what uh, the ladies wanted for the student. This was a new project for me, uh, and it was a really rewarding experience to see the final outcome of the student utilizing this device to help communicate in her classroom. And it was just a really special experience knowing that we had three different departments collaborating together and using these tools to help develop something that would assist another student. Push your knee forward. Push. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Yes.